Hey guys, how's it going? So, Counterside Global is about to come out. I'm actually pretty excited for this game. Um, I've played a lot on Southeast Asia for a while, but I eventually stopped playing. A lot of people I knew kind of quit, and I think it's kind of time for a uh, fresh start here on the global server, which I'm interested in. Um, so, we're looking at my Southeast Asia account right now. I wasn't super hardcore in this game, but I knew a decent amount about the game overall. So I want to talk about some of the stuff that's going to be on the global server that I've researched and um, kind of what units to go for and how some things might work. So first of all, re-rolling in this game. You normally wouldn't want to re-roll that much because it lets you have a decent re-roll with a guaranteed SSR unit and you also later probably get some tickets where you can choose which SSRs you want. However, something that this game is going to have on the global server that they didn't have in Southeast Asia is they're going to start with a character called Awakened Hilda. And so Awakened Hilda, this unit, they're basically like a higher rarity type unit. They use a different currency to roll for them and overall they're usually a little bit stronger, right? They sometimes cost more to deploy but they're very very powerful. So Awakened Hilda, especially at the start of the game, is going to be completely insane. She's going to be by far like one of the most powerful PvP units you could possibly have. In PvE, she's not as strong as some other stuff exactly, but she's going to be just incredible to have. And I would recommend that everybody try to re-roll for her. So she takes a different kind of currency to roll for. Uh, classified Recruitment, she's like these two characters here, which are like special versions as opposed to the normal ones that take these kinds of blue summons. She takes the uh, black and red summons. And so, when you start out, they're going to have you get some free quartz, and then you're going to have a special banner to roll on using that quartz. Now, you don't want to roll on that banner. You instead want to close out of the game, reopen it, and it'll let you bypass that forcibly re-rolling on the banner. And instead, you first want to actually go over here to enter coupon, and there's a code... Ooh. Sorry about that. CS trailer. Counterside trailer right there. And when you put that in, uh, I think you may have to get a little bit through the story or something like that. It'll give you 1500 quartz, which is really important. Can't use it on the Southeast Asia, obviously. But that's going to give you 1500 quartz, and you're going to use that uh, along with the extra 1000 and approximately 500 in the mailbox, I believe. 3000 total. You're going to do this. You can go to shop here and go down here. I already bought this, but it costs, I believe, 2,750 quartz. You want to be able to save up enough for that from the beginning free stuff that we're going to get. And you want to try and buy these. That'll give you approximately, I think, 11 or 12 pulls. And then you're immediately going to use them on the banner. Um, now, you're probably not going to get her. Right, this might take a bunch of tries. And so what you do is you go over here. I believe on the global version, they're gonna have a way to reset your account. Otherwise, um, the safest thing to do is to just use guest accounts until you finally get her and then link it with your actual account. Or um, you could possibly on phone and stuff, delete the uh, application data and stuff. So let's say you get Awakened Hilda. Great, you already have an amazing start. Now what other units are you trying to get? So, there's a few units that I would really be looking at. First of all, uh, let's just start with this one because she's the first one I saw, is Zhao Lin. Zhao Lin is an insanely powerful sniper. Um, this unit just completely crushes everything in her way. She's very squishy, but her damage is absurd. She just kills an entire team if they're on the ground, and it, when left unchecked, she just keeps popping off. She's a really, really good unit to have. Uh, definitely one of the high up choices for a 5 star unit to start with at the beginning of the game. Uh, I highly recommend her. I've used her a ton. And she always was just blowing everything up by herself, honestly. Um, if someone wasn't able to take her out quickly and she could ramp up, her ult us would usually just clean out an entire team as well. Um, secondly, I would say Gaon here. Uh, this is how she normally looks before her skins come out. This is the unit that I actually started the game with pretty early on in the Southeast Asia version, along with Jowlin and a few others. And she's absurdly powerful. Um, she's a top-tier PvP and PvE unit. 
she's going to pretty much just completely carry everything, just one-shot everything in her way. Insanely strong. Um, now, she isn't completely foolproof. First of all, uh, the first banner that's going to be coming around, which I believe is Rosaria, is also a really strong ranger-type character like her. So, you don't have to have Gaeon exactly if you have Rosaria, I guess. They fulfill a similar role in that aspect. But in PvP, this unit is going to carry you really hard. She's an insanely strong unit. She just blows teams up. Um, I would just take her into characters that she wasn't even good against, and she would still blow them up. She worked really well for me all the time. She was always high up on the ban list because of how strong she was. I would also recommend her as one of the characters that's really great to go for. Third, Kyle Long. He is one of the most basic looking lame characters I've ever seen, but he's insanely powerful. One of the big things with him is that he can put a wall down and that wall forcibly provokes enemies. He lets you kind of cheese a lot of PvE content that you might not be strong enough to actually do, but his wall just provokes all the enemies so much that you're actually able to take out difficult battles that you otherwise wouldn't be able to do so easily. He's amazing in PvP and PvE. Um, he does percentage damage, so he's kind of like a tank killer. And he's just an all-around amazing unit to have. He's definitely one of the top choices of units. Um, I would say he's probably... I'm, I'm having a hard time saying which one you should absolutely go for as number one. Gaon Jaolin and Kyle Wong are all amazing. And there's a fourth unit also, Chifuyu. This unit is an insane striker. She's able to defense break units, so they just take a crazy amount of damage. She is a frontline unit, right? And she tanks pretty hard, does a ton of damage, uh, good in PvP and PvE, just an amazing character all around. Her passive skill uh, is what decreases defense, and she also just does a ton of damage in general in an AoE in front of her. Um, highly recommend her as well. Those four units, I would say, are overall the strongest ones to get at the beginning. But there's definitely some honorable mentions. First of all, Esterosa. When the game first drops, this unit is going to be insanely strong. She's going to feel like an unstoppable tank that also kills your units at the same time. Now, she falls off as the game goes onwards, so she's not going to be broken forever, right? But until she eventually falls off, she's going to be crushing in the meta. And I believe later on when they add rearmaments to the game, she's going to become usable again. But I'm not 100% sure on that. That kind of stuff got released later on after I had already stopped playing the game. So there are some other units that you can start with as well. There's units like, uh, you know, Chinatsu and I don't know. Uh, I think this unit also is Sanai and there's a bunch of others that you could possibly get like Siyun But I wouldn't really recommend going for any of those compared to the ones that I was just talking about There's some four stars that are also really good. Lin Shen is really good She's sort of like a uh, battery sort of unit where you place her down and she refunds a bunch of the cost that she just was used to uh, Play basically and her ultimate skill gives you a bunch more deployment cost. So she's just a pretty efficient unit to place um, Evelyn right here is the best healer in the entire game. She's completely insane. She actually currently has, I think, triple ban right now in the PvP on Southeast Asia. Uh, just the best healer overall. Insanely powerful unit. Um, another amazing character just to have on your team. Um, where is she? Here we go, Yang Harim. She's like the best support unit in the entire game. She's able to reduce your team's cooldowns and put barriers on them and also reduce the opponent's attack speed. Just by far one of the most powerful supports in the entire game. She's amazing to get as well. So ideally your account would have something like, you know, Awakened Hilda, and then maybe you get like Kyle Wong and Chinatsu, or you get like, um... oh wait, not Chinatsu, I mean Chifuyu. You'd have something like Gaon and Kyle or Chifuyu or Yang Harim or just some mixture of these kinds of units. And something important to note is we already know the first banner that's going to come out as well. And the first banner is Rosaria. So this is Rosaria. She lo normally looks like this without the skin. Um, she's an amazing ranger unit. She just blows teams up. Um, you keep just redeploying her and she does an insane amount of damage. <clears throat> I've had her just completely solo people's uh, ships with her ultimate and stuff like that as well. Incredibly fun to use. 
Um, so if you don't have Gaon, getting somebody like her is also amazing. Uh, so I'm going to be saving up some of my quartz for her when she comes out. Now, there's also the unit Titan. Um, so this is for mech teams, right? And early on, he's going to be crushing people. Uh, people make mech teams just solely focused around using him. And I don't know why I'm saying him. It's literally just a robot. But this thing right here is pretty annoying to deal with and really strong early on. Not really a PvE unit at all, but in PvP, you're going to be seeing a lot of this thing. Definitely a fun thing to use, though. So... Overall, those are kind of the units that I would recommend going for. Um, there was a lot of rerolling to be done, uh, especially if you're trying to get Awakened Hilda. If you're not really going to go for her, then it's not really too big of a deal. But if there's a specific unit you're trying to get, then, you know, it's not too that too bad to go and uh, reroll at least a few times, right? Some other units like Elizabeth are obviously really good, but they're only for PvP, not really for PvE at all. And it not really recommend it to start with. So the ones I mentioned are the main ones, and other than those, um, I think that overall you can kind of just choose whatever you want. So hope that this helped a little bit, and I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, I definitely want to get back into this game, I really enjoyed it before, and I can't wait to play more. One last thing I would say is some of these characters that you're going to choose, they're going to be too strong, and when a character is too strong, they start to get banned which increases the cost of their deployment. And so maybe your favorite unit is going to be, let's say, Kyle Wong. He's probably going to get banned multiple times early on in the game. As, as the game goes onwards, he'll probably be banned less and less, but early on, you need a nice variety of units. You can't just only focus on a couple, because usually if they're really, really strong ones, they're going to get banned all the time. So definitely be careful about that. Um, don't put all your eggs in one basket or some weeks you're going to have a lot of trouble actually doing any PvP. And it's definitely worthwhile doing PvP. So just a little side note. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you guys play this game with me. And thanks a bunch for watching. I really appreciate it.